Hello everyone. Uh, I'm taking a break from uh, building my ride at the moment, and going to talk about、um, the All Japan Hobby Show happening right now in Japan.、Uh, on YouTube, I'm seeing people start to putting up news and comments about the Hobby Show and what's on display right now. But、uh, most people talk about、um, the Gunpla mostly, and some people talk about Kamen Rider because these two are probably more famous、uh, outside Japan. But、uh, there are a lot of other stuff in there as well, so just、um, to not even if things out, but I think it's worth everyone know about the other as well. So I'm going to do this video. So、uh, let's start off with something that is on Bandai side, the Digimon reboot. We have seen、um, Omega Mon already, looking very nice. I don't see those、um, rabbit foot tapping line. Where the layer is being built on, so I'm guessing this one is probably the final version. So that's what we're going to get. And we also have a sample of Duke Mon or Gallant Mon, depending on where you are. Again, look very nice. And he actually looks really close to what I remember in the show as well, which is a plus because I think. Some people would prefer the original design. Some people did complain about Omega Mon look different to、um, the show version or anybody X version. Other than these two, they have also announced two new uh, uh, character on the on the line, and that is Angelmon and Deadmon. Now these two are really different to、uh, the original design. Both of them were organic humanoid、uh, character in the. In the show, and now they are mechanical robot.、Uh, Angelmon, I think I still, it's probably look a bit more mechanical than I would want. And Devimon, because Devimon doesn't look too human to begin with, I can accept the look. But、um, I have to say, Devimon design, because of how complicated, how much color there is, it looks more like a Kodo Pukia design than、uh, a Bandai model design. We don't know how it's going to turn out. We have to wait. Okay, so next thing is Sankukuden. So one or two of them caught my eye. One of them is the Ruzo version of the Emperor Ruby Gundam. Now this time the Ruby Horu seems to look slightly different than the one、uh, I've been building on the Five General set. So maybe it's a retool. I thought they're going to jump him back to the old armor, and then they just reuse the old mold. So anyway, next one is a、uh, oh how do I call him? I know his Chinese name is Kobo Koi, but、um, yeah, if you've seen the anime, he is the guy who take care of the、uh, Song family, and I'm interested in that long, long, long weapon. I don't know what it is. I want to see it in real life. And something of a oddity、uh, from Bandai is a 90 cm tall. Um, Tokyo Tower model, 90 cm tall, so that's almost one meter long, one meter tall. Yeah, it's a bit odd actually. I wonder why they actually decided to build it. Actually, I think it's, if you look closely on the photo, there's two versions, one small and one tall one. So let's move on from that to Wave. As you know,、uh, Wave likes to make、uh, racing cars model and expensive、um, injection model every now and then. But、uh, within them, it, one of the interesting one is 172 um, across Destro Mechas. I'm afraid I actually don't know the name, but、um, one of them I know is Destro Monster. It's a one to one hundred apparently. If it's one to one hundred, it's going to be a pretty big model. Unfortunately, it's a Destro Monster, not the Conic Monster, so it's not going to be transformable. But still cool. So swiftly moving on to something I really like. And I'm glad to see it, and that is the Mesa Delta from Hasegawa. I pre-ordered this guy already, and I'm feeling relieved seeing、um, its color model version. It just looks so much nicer than I would imagine it, it would become. And of course, they show on the show they show that、um, how it's going to look in、uh, the jet form. Again, it's looking much better than I would imagine. Talk about virtual one. Kodo Bikia,、um, as if it's trying to、um, trying to respond to Hasegawa of making、uh, making the Mesa Delta say, "Hey, look, I'm making a bell door 
from the original Virtual One series. And if you look at the background on the background poster in the top right hand corner, they also got a picture of the Mesa Delta in development. And as you were saying, look, our partner is actually making something and we are making something too. Yay! Again on the D style, up till now we've seen um, several uh, Palaba uh, units, the Griffin, the, the Ingram 1. Uh, apparently Ingram 2 is coming out. And, um, and then continue on, on the Super Robot side, after Gunbuster they're going to do the Denkuga. Not quite sure about uh, D style form of uh, of Denkuga, it sort of lost its amazingness. Uh, on Border Break, uh, they're using the Strike, the Shriek version, uh, which was a support unit or a sniper unit, and now it turned him into a close combat unit, a very nice sword. Uh, and onto the Frame Arm series, the first female design uh, is going to come out for the Frame Arm series. I like the hair. Yeah, it somehow speaks to me for some reason. It's not actually that female without those hairs, but uh, yeah, I think it's actually working. I might have a look after I got the rule right uh, from the Frame Arm series as well. I'm gonna get this soon. I'm gonna see how good the Frame Arm body is. Then I will decide whether I will want to continue with that line. And last but not least, this is actually a bit of shock for me, and that is the Ikaruga, the jet from the game Ikaruga. I missed the model, uh, the wrestling model kit um, released um, two years ago, and I've been regretted ever since. So, to my surprise, they're actually making, they're actually announcing they're going to make a kit. I, I'm speechless, basically. I, I'm definitely going to get this, no matter what. And uh, I did actually find a photo, but uh, if you look at the right hand side, there is the uh, Fantasy Star Online logo, and that is because uh, Kovika is also going to make a um, model kit of some of the character in uh, Fantasy Star Online, for some reason. There's two of them on display, one of them is smaller, one of them is bigger, but it means that they're going to make two model scale um, line, or they're going to make a uh, action figure line, or static figure line, and then, and then a model kit line. I'm not quite sure, so I'll have to wait and see, and see if there's any, any other people who knows about it. But uh, that's about it for non Gunpla, non Kamen Rider um, stuff that I've discovered so far. All of the stuff i found is actually on um, toyworld.com.hk or from Popular in Japan. So if you're interested, go and have a look at their site. That's about it. Um, join me next time.